Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, April the 13th. It's the second week of Easter and it's the first week in our psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalms 1 and 2 and 3 and Daniel chapter 1 verse 1 to 21. Please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Sing all you nations to our God. Sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record. God's honors and your joy. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. Psalms 1, 2, and 3. And please recite together with me. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers, that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Alleluia! Why did the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The rulers of the earth take counsel together against you and your anointed. They say, let us break their bands and cast away their cords. You who sit in the heavens shall laugh, you laugh them to scorn. And then you speak to them in your wrath and vex them in your sore displeasure. I have set my ruler upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. God Most High has said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance and the whole earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them into pieces like a potter's jar. Therefore, be wise, O rulers, be instructed, O judges of the earth. Serve God the Most High with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. Alleluia, O oh God, how many are they that trouble me? How many are they that rise against me? How many there are which say, there is no help for him in God? But you, O oh God, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried to you with my voice, and you heard me from your holy hill. I lay down and slept, I wait, for you sustained me. I will not be afraid of thousands of people that have set themselves against me all around. Rise, O God, save me, my beloved, for you have struck my enemies across the face, and you have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to you, and your blessing is upon the peoples. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. A lesson from the prophet Daniel, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In the third year of the reign of King Jehoiakim of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord 
let King Jehoiakim of Judah fall into his power, as well as some of the vessels of the house of God. And these he brought to the land of Shinar and placed the vessels in the treasury of his gods. And then the king commanded his palace master to bring some of the Israelites of the royal family and of the nobility, young men without physical defect and handsome, versed in every branch of wisdom, endowed with knowledge and insight, and competent to serve in the king's palace. They were to be taught the literature and the language of the Chaldeans, and the king assigned them a daily portion of the royal rations of food and wine. And they were to be educated for three years, so that at the end of that time they could be stationed in the king's court. And among them were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah from the tribe of Judah. The palace master gave them other names. Daniel he called Beelteshazzar. Hananiah he called Shadrach. Mishael he called Meshach. And Azariah he called Abednego. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the royal rations of food and wine. And so he asked the palace master to allow him not to defile himself. Now God allowed Daniel to receive favor and compassion from the palace master. And the palace master said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. He has apportioned your food and your drink. If he should see you in poorer condition than the other young men of your own age, you would endanger my head with the king. Then Daniel asked the guard whom the palace master had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test your servants for ten days. Let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink. And then you can compare our appearance with the appearance of the young men who eat the royal rations and deal with your servants according to what you observe. So he agreed to this proposal and tested them for ten days. At the ten, end of ten days, it was observed that they appeared better and fatter than all the young men who had been eating the royal rations. So the guard continued to withdraw their royal rations and the wine they were to drink and gave them vegetables. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and skill in every aspect of literature and wisdom. Daniel also had insight into all visions and dreams. At the end of the time that the king had set for them to be brought in, the palace master brought them into the presence of Nebuchadnezzar, and the king spoke with them, and among them all, no one was found to compare with Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And therefore they were stationed in the king's court, in every manner of wisdom and understanding concerning which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom. And Daniel continued there until the first year of King Cyrus. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning, for you are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. together. 
our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.